We've gotten some huge news pertaining to Star Citizen Alpha 3.22 coming at the end of this year. Really exciting stuff. We're going straight into it. In today's roadmap roundup, we just got some more information pertaining to what we're going to be seeing in the Alpha 3.22 build. And uh, what they've added here to the release view is that they intend to add the player hair updates here. It says updating Star Citizen Character Customizer with 20 hairstyles from squad 42 this includes long hair tied hair and updates to existing short hairstyles in addition to this they're adding some new derelict settlements it says settlements with both gameplay and social elements spread throughout stanton wilderness using the rastar tool so that's going to be interesting up next year they have arena commander a new map called bloodshot ridge it says one of stanton's new derelict settlement joins arena commander for all fps modes and flight modes excluding classic race and pirate swarm so that's good some more stuff that we can do in arena commander up next is arena commander new map which is going to be makers point where it says rough and stormy settlement on hurston makers point makes its way to all fps modes in arena commander so that's going to be interesting to see the big one, this is the big one that I'm most excited about is Arena Commander Multi-Crew and Spawn Locations. This is going to be epic. It says, it says, updating all maps to utilize a new spawn location system for spawn selection. This update also enables the long-awaited introduction of multi-crew to squadron battles, pirate swarm, vandal swarm, tank battles, and free flight this is going to be huge guys if you guys are not aware what this is going to allow us is to um actually do set piece scenarios with our org mates um right now in the pu it takes a long time to prep up to get the ships ready to get the weapons ready to get um before you get all the people together um in order to do a, a set piece scenario in the pu it's going to be probably like an hour hour and a half before everything is ready but in arena commander to have multi-crewing and um and spawn locations it'll allow us to actually test multi-crewing in a better way where that we don't waste so much time prepping we can just start a new game we could just start a new session and it allows orgs to actually practice it allow orgs to actually create various scenarios um without having to travel without having to make sure all the equipment and everything is ready Everything is going to be in Arena Commander, um, and it's going to be huge, man. I'm really excited for this one. This is one of the biggest features coming in the 322 patch, if you ask me. But you guys, let me know your thoughts on this below. Are you guys excited for this one? Let me know in the description down below. Also, before I let you go, my organization, Phase 1 Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you're interested, you can check out our Discord in the description down below. I'll catch you guys on the next video.